This video covers the installation of the Link2 Wi-Fi module in the LXME2, LXME2 Pro, LXIVM, and LXIVM Pro controllers. Please note that the first generation Link Wi-Fi module is not compatible with these controllers. The Link2 Wi-Fi module currently supports the Rainbird app on iPhone and iPad. Android capability is coming soon. Open the controller front panel and insert the Link2 Wi-Fi module into the accessory slot. The Link2 should start blinking blue. If it's not blinking blue, it may need to be reset. Simply hold the button down for about 5 seconds until you see a yellow light. And then it should be flashing blue. Next, we'll open the Rainbird app and click Add a Controller. In this example, we're using an LXME2. Our lights were flashing blue, so we'll click that icon. Be sure to verify that the mobile device has Bluetooth enabled. As you can see, the Link2 shows a Bluetooth connection is available. We'll click on it to connect. We can name the controller, then click Next. It asks for a zip code, which is used to determine automatic weather adjustments, such as increased or reduced run times, based on local temperature, rainfall, etc. Next, we're going to set up the controller. We'll start by entering a controller password that is at least four characters long. Hit Next. At this point, we have one of two options. If Wi-Fi is available, we can connect the Link2 to our Wi-Fi network and control it from anywhere in the world via the app. If we don't have a Wi-Fi network, we can control it in direct mode. Let's use the direct mode and click No, since we do not have a local Wi-Fi. Now it's asking to enter permanent AP hotspot mode. This creates a direct channel to the controller via Wi-Fi. Hit Next. Click Join to connect to another controller. The app warns that it's not set up in Wi-Fi. It's only connected via permanent AP Hotspot mode. Click Done. AP Hotspot mode requires us to be no more than 45 feet from the controller in order to use the Rainbird app. We'll click on the controller to connect. On the main screen, we can edit programs. We can also water manually by running all zones in order, by running a program, or by setting a custom watering schedule. We can send email invites if we have more people who want to edit and use the same controller, and we can remove the controller. We can access each station and edit the station priority, as well as the station name. We can add weather sensors. We can also manually set a watering delay due to weather or other event. We can also edit any of our irrigation programs, including watering frequency, start times, etc. If connected to Wi-Fi, enabling automatic seasonal adjust allows the controller to make daily adjustments based on local weather data. The LXME2 supports up to 40 programs and we can quickly edit multiple programs from this one screen. If we want to set this controller up on a Wi-Fi network, we simply go into Network Settings, Change Wi-Fi Settings. Here, we'll turn off Permanent AP Hotspot Mode, and now we can connect to our local Wi-Fi network.